I'm Elijah Soley. Uh, Steve Cochran isn't here today. I'm James LeBron. I'm Tyler Blon. I'm Patrick Flaherty. I'm Jake Smith. We are Cenobot. All right, so quick update. So originally our team project was Rozone, um, but we decided to switch over to um, developing a cleaning robot. Um, and the reasons being that there was a lack of consumer need for Frozone. So um, it was considered more to be um, of a luxury than a need. Um, the problem just wasn't big enough um, for us to make any money off of it. And in terms of uh, having no practical use for industry. So our main demographic was um, restaurants and food chains. But um, when we went to them, they um, were pretty adamant when it came to um, not um, to keeping their uh, current food preparation methods the same rather than switching to an alternative. That leads us to our new problem. Um, as you can see from the picture, a lot of sidewalks tend to have litter just scattered everywhere. You can see that some of the um, concrete squares are a lot darker and dirtier than the, a newer one. Um, this can cause uh, sewage smells in the areas. Um, it can depreciate real estate value, uh, just generic stuff like that. And that leads us our, to our solution on the next slide. Um, so we'd like to make a sanitation uh, robot force. So the idea is you'd have uh, like five robots like in an area, they'd go pick up litter off the ground, um, maybe use a brush to do a deep cleaning of concrete. Um, we could implement um, sensors to monitor air quality, um, keep track of foot traffic in areas, just uh, that way we'd have more data points that we could possibly sell or uh, incorporate into their local cleaning service. So some of the immediate benefits that we can see are obviously cleaner, healthier cities. Um, some other benefits um, arise from the fact that this is all automated, so there are gonna be minimal labor costs. Um, of course, environmental improvements, which in turn will heighten real estate value. And then um, due to the automation, it can also work 24 seven. Um, some of our major, major competition are going to be uh, power sweeping companies, uh, vehicle manufacturers such as um, Stuart Amos, E.B. Schmidt, and then um, the generic indoor cleaning robot companies such as iRobot, Global Industrial, Matronics, and Roomba. What makes this different than those particular products is that this is an automated service for sidewalks. And in particular, it's a space that most other cleaning robots don't do in, in the case of indoor or street cleaning. Uh, it's a 24 seven service, so it'll be running constantly regardless of whether or not it's day or night, regardless of whether or not anyone's monitoring it themselves. There's long-term savings at the reduction of the cost of paying for labor. Instead, you're just maintaining these robots or renting them. And then it's also more thorough since these robots wouldn't get bored or lazy. Uh, additionally, with the data collection of determining where places get most dirty or where there's most foot traffic, we can use that to sell to different investors or people with different interests, such as local businesses, to determine uh, more valuable things for them. The first three years of revenue are projected out here. So the after the first two years, you're seeing a significant jump in revenue from 947,000 to two million dollars due to an increase in the number of units sold both to federal, state, and local governments, and a significant increase in units sold to waste management corporations from 50 to 250. Uh, we project that more governments would be more interested earlier, and with uh, an increased advertising through those government purchases, we can expand, expand to waste management corporations faster. And the expenses are listed within this document. A handout is attached with this file. And the most significant costs come from uh, significant consultant fees and marketing fees over the course of the second and third years due to increase in needing to advertise to more people in order to sell more of the product, and also the administrative, administrative fees themselves, uh, totaling after three years to about a million point one dollars. And then our simple income statement with everything reduced and simplified. We're seeing that over the first two years, there's a significant uh, loss caused by R&D, uh, lack of infrastructure, and lack of selling. 
but after the third year, we project that we would be able to reach the black and make a significant amount of money and profit. Our break-even projection is at 275 units sold after the first uh, two years, which would bring us back into the black and uh, give us a better options in the future. Overall, our main revenue will be coming from partners and investors. Our goal is to start uh, moving our products and getting them sold to various city or township administrations, as well as various waste management corporations. And then as for our team, uh, we split into two different uh, groups based off our various skills. Uh, first off, we had the development team consisting of Elijah, Patrick, and myself, James. Um, we have Elijah as our director for the team. And then on the other side, we have our business and communications teams consisting of Tyler, Steven, and Jake, uh, with Tyler being the director of that team as well. Thank you. And uh, please email us with any questions.